Let's explore horizontal transformation with different kind of an example. Identify the parent function f of x. Write the equation of transform function g of x. How are the points in the two graphs related? Now the parent function is f of x which is not bold. So this is parent function, right? This is your parent function. This is your x-axis and then y-axis. So as we can see the parent function is a reciprocal function. So f of x is 1 over x. And here x cannot be equal to 0. So x is all real numbers but it is not equal to 0. You also notice that we have a horizontal asymptote which is y equals to 0. So y is also all real numbers but not equal to 0. The transform, the transform function is the one in bold g of x. So this is g of x for us. That is the transform function. The part 2 of this question is write the equation of the transform function g of x. So what do you notice? First thing which you notice is that the graph has really shifted. It is shifted and we have a vertical asymptote not at 0 but at minus 2. So there is a shift two units to left. So it has shift two units left. This is one thing you notice. And second thing what you notice is that instead of being in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 3, it has got reflected also. So it has gone to this side. So there is a reflection on y-axis. So there is a reflection on y-axis. This is what you noted, reflection on y-axis. Now this shift is also horizontal and this reflection is also horizontal, like flip like this, right? So both of them, as you notice, are horizontal. Since both of them are horizontal, we know one thing, that the y-coordinates will remain same, x will change. Or we know that only the parent function inside will change outside is going to remain same since y is exactly the same. So these are a couple of things which we notice. Now based on this let's try to write down the equation for our function. So a reflection on y-axis that is kind of multiplication. Shift is plus and minus. So always when you consider you consider this first and then this. That is the order in which you should be writing and also describing your graph, right? So when it is describe the transformation, you have to write first reflection on y-axis and then shift two units left. If you do in that order, you are going to get wrong result. You can try and check for yourself. Okay. Now, we know it is reflected, so we at least know it is minus x. Now, let us check. Is there any stretch or compression? So for that, the best point is 1, 1. So this point is 1, 1. It got reflected. Uh, and so, of course, this will come to this side, right? So 1, 1 reflected to this side. And then you say there is a shift of 2 units. If I move 2 units, 1 and 2, I reach the point. Perfect. So that means there is no stretch. Do you see that? Do you understand? My point was 1, 1 on the main function. So I know there is a reflection. So I reflected this point first. I have to do this first. And then 2 units left. And then I went 2 units left and I landed on g of x. That means the only translation here is 2 units left. And there is no horizontal stretch or compression. And therefore, I can now write down my equation. And I say g of x is equal to... 1 over x and since it is a left side right so I have to write plus 2 here put them in brackets don't forget and write minus here this minus we have to see first it is a reflection on y-axis and then two units left so that is my function g of x of course when you write finally you can always write this as x plus 2 when there is a sign here, it can be considered with both numerator and denominator, but coming to this place, this is our path, and that is what we need to follow. So what you learn from here is, 
Write down your observations, but when you write down the answer, be careful to follow the rules. Multiplications first, then addition and subtraction. So when you have to describe the transformation, so when I say describe the transformation, which I should add here as, let's say describe, which is not a part of the question, then I'll write first reflection on y-axis and then I will say translate two units left. So that is how I am going to describe my transformations, right? Not in that order. That is the order I see and analyze, then I rearrange and get my answer. And then this is the way I need to write my function. Now the question is, how are the points in the two graphs related? Now since we see that there is a reflection and translation, we can say, well the relation between the points is, I can write down here itself, that a point x, y on f of x will get transformed so that every x point will get multiplied by minus 1 and then further you have to do left shift, right? So it will be minus of x and then minus of 2. That is how you get x points and y points will remain same. So that is how each point in the two graphs is related, right? So this is g of x and this is f of x. So that answers the question, right? So as additional part, you can always write domain and range of your transport function g of x. I hope with that you understand and can do similar problems without much problem. In any way, if you have any difficulty, you can always get back to me. Thank you and all the best.